So yeah, BMW has been recalled, so nothing to do on that this week. So instead, come down to do a few bits on the Clio, which is miraculously back on the road. Come down to change the throttle body and the throttle position sensor. It's the one on this, the wires are all frayed and possibly contacting each other, getting really strange throttle response through the rev range. So hopefully this will solve that. If not, maybe it's a mapping issue or lack of mapping. And also come down to put the summer tyres on, which coincides perfectly with the weather turning grey and shit again. But these ones aren't holding air properly. I don't know whether they're not sealed onto the rim. Can't spot a puncture, but it's getting annoying having to put a couple of PSI in every day. Cars up, so we'll quickly whip the wheels off. Swap those over. Thought about swapping the exhaust as well, uh, mainly because it knocks does that non-stop in traffic. So, one way to eliminate that is to fit the side exit back on. Comes out underneath the passenger's passenger door. Uh, don't hit the rear beam, don't knock. Only downside is incredibly loud, like stupidly loud. Uh, so it won't have a pass track regulation, so I'd have to put the magnets back on. But Sometimes it's fun to have flames coming out the side, so we'll see. Standard Clio's obviously just have normal wheel nuts, wheel bolts should I say. These ones have got a stud, stud and nut, which makes it so much easier when you're constantly changing wheels and constantly having problems with the Clio, so problems are plenty. Also saves, you know, 10 grams of unsprung weight. All help. Now repeat four times. All four now on. Actually got a lot more tread than I remember. So should be good for a while on the road. And then still be good for quite a few track days even when they go below the legal limit. Only thing is these pro races just don't sit as nicely in the arch. as the standard turbines so it don't look quite as appealing next up change this throttle body and TPS as you can see the wires are mine they're all taped together they're pretty knackered um, the idle speed control has been rubbing them and I don't know why it's obviously not sitting in its mount properly Hence the cable tie, but you do so many bodges you can't really remember why you did them. Uh, so I changed it out, got to remove the battery air box, whip that off, back on. Should be all good.
before I do have a clean. Give the throttle body a quick clean out. Wasn't too dirty, but if you can avoid sucking crap into the engine, you might as well. And it's been, I don't know, stored in someone's shed for a while. Just got to remove the cable and a couple of bolts here. It should come straight off. Hit the first issue, well, potential issue. Uh, the idle control screw on top of the throttle body. Just remember that mine was adjusted uh, when the engine was cammed, it wouldn't, it wouldn't tick over. So, that might take a bit of adjusting because I've got no idea what it was adjusted to. So, maybe it won't tick over again, or it'll be extra bumpy. So what I'll do is just whip this on and then start it up before I put it all back together just to make sure it's actually going to tick over and that the TPS actually works and isn't worse than the one before which was drivable just not between sort of 1800 and 2200 RPM. Time for track, but made it a bit of a nightmare on the road when you're trying to creep around the car park or such. You look like you've got no clutch control. Right. Have I lost a plug? Still a bit close to the wire in there on the idle speed control. So I think it's going to have to be cable tied again. Chuck the cable back on. I don't want to jinx myself, but throttle cable is the one cable I haven't replaced on this car yet. Got a clear. You know, you've probably replaced the clutch cable several times. Alright, let's give her a whirl. Well, it's ticking over as well as it was before. Lumpy as hell, basically. But that's all due to the can, so... The only test will be on the road, I guess. Standard sort of 1100 to 800 jump. Well, yeah, it's 
seems all good. So yeah, seems to tick over as well as it did before. So I'll whip it all together, back together. See what it's like on the road. Right, all back together now. I uh, just got to go and put some air in the tyres because they are low. It's not going to make it home like that. Uh, I couldn't be bothered to put the side exit on today. It's too hot, even though I don't look it. But give up for today. We're going to do a quick road test, see if it's any better. If not, you know, wasted afternoon and all that. But oh uh, well. Between sort of 1800 and 2200 revs, just creeping in any gear, you get like a jerking kangaroo motion. So, around here, normally, sort of part throttle. You're right now, lifting off. Normally now it'd be bang bang bang. in the TPS. Now we just gotta hope we don't run out of fuel. 